What's up, everybody? I'm Poom Pete. And I'm Moosin. And we are determined to finish this freaking this Shadow of the Scara side quest. quest. We're we're on the fourth episode in a row, and after before we started the last one, I was talking to Mason, and I was like, "All right, so we're gonna do one more." Or no, we were only doing the last one because we wanted to finish the tentacle thing. And now we're stuck in this area, and we just... We do not want to have to come back to this the next time we start recording. So, uh, forgive us if we are just not... If we're just out of it this episode. We're doing our best. I am always doing my best. You are doing your best. Great. I feel like we agreed that you were doing your best 12% of the time. Yeah, uh, this is the 12%. But, yeah, we are determined to get through this freaking quest. This side quest is just awful. I want to go into the Cave of Wonders, or the Lamp of Wonders in Sodwa Mesa. I feel like that will be a nice palette change, but this... Maybe there will be a Blue Genie, and... I feel like that's unlikely, but maybe if we're lucky. And Jombie. Who's Jombie? Jombie the Genie? Yeah, Jombie the Genie. Who's Jombie the Genie? Yeah. I'm sad. I'm sad inside that you don't know who he is. Who is he? He's uh, the genie in the box from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, you know what genie I was thinking of is the Great Gazoo from Flintstones. I know who he is. I too know who he is. <clears throat> I thought maybe you were going to call the Great Gazoo Jombie. Or you were calling. No. Yeah, I understand that you were making a play a different reference now. How many episodes of Pee Wee's Playhouse have you seen? That show was All of so them. really. Honestly, you've seen every one of them. No, I've seen a lot of them though. Uh, that show's so far before our time, isn't it? Um, uh, I guess. Where did you it see does... them? It's not even on TV anymore uh, because you got caught jerking off in a movie theater. Yeah, I guess. But. <laughs> it so used to be on Adult Swim uh, okay. all the time. That makes sense. I feel like that would be a place to have it. Didn't he get caught jerking off in like a porno movie theater? Yeah, which is kind of the accepted thing. Yeah, I feel like that's normal. Like, why did he get in so much trouble for that? Because or did he just the not get in a lot of trouble? I don't really know the story behind the fall of the great Pee Wee Herman. Well... He actually had a bro uh, I don't think it was Broadway. I thought you were going to say a else. brother. Yeah, he yeah, has a brother. Um, he has a... so much man of the cast now. A, like, a giant hour, like, movie segment and live action of Pee-Wee's Playhouse. All of his stuff live action? Yeah, but it was recent. Really? And, yeah. <clears throat> I think it was 2013, and it was... It was somewhere famous, but he looks exactly the same, and it's really scary. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Pee Wee Herman just doesn't age. Yeah, he's like, uh, who else doesn't age? Um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. He looks a lot alike to, like, when he started acting. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is starting to look older. John Stamos. John Stamos is not aged. It's the hair, man. I know. It just keeps him young. Did you see the Super Bowl commercial with oh, John yep. Stamos, Bob That's Saget, great. and Dave Coulier? That was awesome. Me and my roommate saw that, and then I was like, I wonder what Dave Coulier has been up to. Turns out, not a lot. <laughs> and when I say uh, not a lot, like literally nothing. Dave, I mean, Dave Coulier has not been a busy man. He made a bunch of money. I mean, so... Yeah, but, like, Bob Saget's still doing it. stuff, and, like, John Stamos is still doing stuff. Dave Coulier is <laughs> not doing stuff. I don't I don't think being John Stamos really is doing something. J John's... Oh, you just died. Yeah. John Stamos is, like, still, like, acting. Oop, I is almost... St just... <laughs> Well, 
I will go ahead and take my leave yet again. <laughs> I'm really so glad. I'm really glad it didn't just automatically kick you. That would have been extremely unfortunate. I apologize. I was trying to click away from the enemies and clicked on your name. And then just happened to actually kick on the click on the kick thing as well. But yeah, John Stamos is definitely still acting. In what? Uh, TV shows. I don't know what TV shows he's in. He was on at least one episode of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Ah. I'm pretty sure he is like a main character on a TV show still. Or recently was. Well, they have good taste. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. They should get Dave Coulier on that too, though. And don't forget about Bob Saget. Isn't Bob Saget, like, he tried to become like an edgy comedian. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, not Bob Saget. That was a poor career choice. I just feel like I don't buy Bob Saget as edgy comedian. <clears throat> you you go and see Bob Saget to see Bob Saget. No, I mean really, you go to see Bob Saget to see Danny Ta Danny Tanner. Yeah. I as guess. portrayed, like just. I feel like Danny Tanner is more Bob Saget than Bob Saget is. Um. Apparently there is a piece of the robot in this place. Ah. Uh, we should probably look for that then. Yeah. It's just like, you know how, I I, I don't know the 100% validity of the statement, but I heard like, when Tobey Maguire was done with the Spider-Man films, like he had trouble <coughs> getting other movie roles. Because they were just like, we Why? don't... I don't understand. Sorry, why. I was I was having a drink of water. <clears throat> People were like, "We just can't see you as not Spider-Man." I feel like it's the same way with Danny Tan with Danny Tanner and Bob Saget. Like, I don't believe Bob Saget as a character that's not Danny Tanner. Uh, it's kind of like Will Smith is always the Fresh Prince. Uh, he he's been in stuff. He like was in. He was in After Earth. I heard that was just a great film. You know he made that, right? He you wrote it. You know that that was extreme sarcasm, right? Uh, I was just. Asking I heard that film was actually it. awful. Yeah, isn't oh, it, it was terrible. Isn't Don't it worry. laced with uh, like Scientologist views or something or whatever? I heard Will Smith has an extremely bizarre like religious outlook on the world. It's not Scientology. It's like his own made-up religion, and it's very strange. Will Smithology? I don't know. Just look it up after this. I don't remember what it was, but I read an article. It's very weird. Will Smith believes some very strange things. Like, not that I'm here to pass judgment on anyone's belief system, but like, uh, did you start a boss fight? Uh, maybe. Uh... I'm not done fighting was, the magical roaches. I was doing this quest, man, and then I, uh... Alright, well, you know what? You're on your own until I'm done with the roaches. God, if I kite him over here... That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> it's just one of those big, uh... Smashy sand guys. Oh. Uh -oh. But he has a hive on his back. Does of. it launch Scraws? I would ah. doubt it. Scraw sounds like a Pokemon name. They can like only say Scraw. Uh, At least yeah, in my he's opinion. He's making all, all sorts of these walls. Oh! You know that these freaking bug mages resurrect the other bugs if you don't help me kill them, correct? Do they? Yeah. So I've been fighting like the same horde of roach mages for like three hours. Maybe you should uh, kill him better. Maybe you shouldn't have activated the boss fight before I was done clearing out all of the you other know, stuff. Mason, if we I learned anything try. from World of Warcraft, like all of the time you spent on that game, which is a lot, you should know that you always clear out the mobs before, like the trash mobs, before you start the boss fight. Not like, if you want to be a man now. and 
You know better than that. You know better than that. Ah, yeah. Pass this guy. Uh. I'm determined to kill the rest of this stuff first before we continue. Uh, that's not the boss. The one you that. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, I found the, I found the boss. That that sand hulk right there is actually the road to the secret area. He was supposed to be blocking it all. Uh, okay. And only go and supposed to start. Oh uh, man. Stand up when There's you attack him. All of them here now. All right, Mason. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, and you're gonna Blue have to. Twenty-four. Egg sandwich. And John Stamos. Ah, uh, you know what? Interestingly enough, the uh, the four questions I had for you were uh was your favorite color um on average how many sandwiches do you eat a day what is your favorite type of sandwich and if you could be any actor who would it be you just you just nailed well, it well you see i just have a just have a ESP. knack for answering questions that was very impressive ha huh. well i mean i got to be good at something Mason, what's your favorite 1990s boy band? In sync. I don't even remember which one that is. Was that the one with Justin Timberlake or without Justin Timberlake? Um, can't, could not tell you. <laughs> I feel like you. It's not really fair to call them your favorite then. What's your opinion on Justin Timberlake? I think he's good at singing. Yeah, I feel like... Alright, I, I would agree that uh, he he's good at singing. And the reason I know he's good is because I don't want to like him, and yet I still like his music. <laughs> Why do you not want to like him? I just... I don't know, man. I just don't... I don't want to like Justin Timberlake. But, you know, his music's good. And then he's funny, too. And I'm like, you know what, Justin Timberlake? I can't hate you. No matter how hard I try. You know, this guy just has a, too much health. Yeah, it's just like the uh, fan of Kings or Mask of... King of Masks. Yeah, there you go. I would get there eventually. King of Fans. King of Fans. Not like the things that you use to fan yourself, but king of a uh, large group of people that enjoy your work. Unlike us. We are not them yet. We are not fans? No, kings of them. No, we are like the peasants of them. We are like the serfs. Like the Russian serfs of fans. Well, that's very accurate. <laughs> Uh, my one ability takes way too much mana to cast now. It makes me really sad. I need more mana. This guy, just, he, you're right. He takes too long. This is not a difficult fight. It is extremely tedious. Much like this whole area. Like, the sentence I just said could sum up the entire area of the weird, this whole, like, side quest. It's not long. It's just tedious, and it makes me sad. Or it's not yeah. hard, it's just tedious and it makes me sad about things. And I just don't do enough damage to really kill him. The freaking, fast the, uh, like, auto attack thing in this game. Like, you know when you attack something, like, kind of auto attacks for you? Yeah, it yeah. auto targets, like, it every auto targets crawler. all of the freaking, you know, the pillars that pop up, the little bugs, like. So it's, it's not even, it's very difficult to just focus fire on them. Because the moment pillars show up, your aim just goes all wonky. And no good loot. Thank no god that's over, though. Maybe there's a all boss right. chest around here. And we have to get the robot arm, I guess. Maybe, yeah. I thought uh, you said there was one robot arm per chapter. Apparently there's one. We're still on chapter two. <laughs> Sorry about that. I need to drink again. It's rather thirsty. There's nothing here, Mason. You lied to me. Oh, just fi just kidding. The eggs break. Well, how did a robot, a piece of a robot, get inside the egg? 
That doesn't even make sense. Um, don't judge. What is, I'm not judging, I'm just logically... Really, none of this stuff should be inside the egg. The only thing that should be inside eggs are the things inside eggs. Like, babies. And Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. I'm pretty sure he wasn't birthed by egg. You never know. Don't I, though? Because I was never at any point under the impression that Robert Downey Jr. was birthed by egg. We have to return to that guy, but where is he? Um, I have no idea where we're going. Of course. What? Don't of course me like I'm responsible for knowing. Of <laughs> Not only that, but you say it like... Not only am I responsible, but usually I don't know where we're going. I feel like, typically, I have a fairly decent idea of, like, the general goal of usually what we're trying to channel. do. Alright, I feel like we should just warp back to base. And then, right. I, and then we can the just... Ah, hi, and bye, user. I don't know who that was. Um, probably somebody around. I'm clicking on the wrong channel. Yeah, probably. Alright, so let's just return... I think maybe Zerifesh, the city area? I guess. Alright. So we're going to return to the city. I know this one's a little bit shorter than normal. but uh, And we will continue our quest into the Sodwa Mesa next time on Friendly Fire Co-op. Bye. Bye.